Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am back with a new video. Today we will learn 10 advanced Excel formulas that will improve your Excel skills. So our first formula is how to determine number of working days in a year. For this, we will use one formula that is, is equal to net work days bracket start then date again bracket start select your year then comma then write one for jan month then again write one for first date then bracket close then comma now we want end date for this again you have to use date formula bracket start select your year then comma now right well then comma then 31 for last day and then break it close again break it close then enter this is how you can determine number of working days in a year if i change year here it will determine number of working days in year 2020 now let's move to our next formula that is how to determine number of working days in a month for this you can use this formula i'm just copying this formula and just paste it here and then enter and this i have year and month and now my working days are 22 in this month and if you change this to 9 it will automatically change and September 2023 working days are 21 now let's move to our next formula that is how to find out Mondays or any other day of the week between two dates we have given here two dates that is date 1 Date 1 is October 1st, 2023 and date 2 is October 17, 2023. Now we have to find out how many Mondays are there between these two dates. For this you can use this formula. Just copy this formula and then paste it here. And then press enter. So this is how you can find out with the help of this formula how many Mondays are there between these two dates and if I change this to 1 then I will get how many Sundays are there between these two dates if I change this to 22 you will get four Sundays not Mondays we can also verify this in this calendar in October Sundays are on 1st, 8th, 15th and 22th so let's move to our next formula that is how to find out last working day of the month if date is given so one date is given here find out last working day we can use one formula that is is equal to work days work day bracket start then EO month again bracket start then select your date then comma then zero then break it close then plus one then comma minus one and then break it close enter now just copy its format painter and paste it here this is how you can find out last working day if date is given now let's move to our next formula that is 
how to find out first working day of the month if date is given again we can use formula that is work day bracket start EO month bracket start select your date then comma then press minus one then bracket close comma one bracket close and then enter your first working day of this month is 2nd of October 2023 so let's move to our next formula that is how to find out first day of the month for this simply we can use is equal to the O month formula then select your date then comma minus one bracket close and then plus one and then enter. This is how you can find out first day of the month. Now we have to find out last day of the month. Again, you have to use formula E O month bracket start. Then select your date, then comma, then press zero and then bracket close. Let's move to our next formula that is how to find out number of days in a month. For this you have to use day formula with EO month is equal to day bracket start then use EO month formula then select your date then comma then zero then bracket close and again bracket close and then enter just drag this to find out more this is how you can calculate number of days in a month now let's move to our next formula that is how to extract date and time from date timestamp if you want to extract date you have to use one formula that is is equal to int bracket start then select here date timestamp then bracket close if you want to extract time again you have to use mod formula bracket start select your date comma then one then bracket close now change this change its format to time and then off. This is how you can extract date and time from date timestamp. Now let's move to our last advanced Excel formula that is how to generate English alphabets. You can use two formulas here that is is equal to char bracket start sequence bracket start then 26 then commas two commas then six friend that bracket close and then bracket close you can also use another formula that is is equal to char bracket start then row then again bracket start mm. is 65 colon 90 then bracket close again bracket close this is how you can use 10 advanced excel formulas which will improve your excel skills so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon and if you have any query regarding excel please do comment in comment section thank you so much for watching